Here we just want to simplify each expression and make sure we can uh, make sense of this. So the first one we have the square root of 160 minus the square root of 32. Please do not try to bring those in under one radical. This is definitely not the square root of 160 minus 32 and it will drive your calculus professor bonkers if you try to do that. What's a better approach here is to take out what you can with square roots. So for example, I remember that 160 is 16 times 10, um, and also 32 is 16 times 2. So what that allows me to do now is I know that the square root of 16 is 4. So in both of these cases, I can take out a 4, and I'm left with a square root of 10 here, minus a 4 square root of 2. Um, from there, it just depends on what your professor wants, but you may want to factor out the, um, the 4. Whatever you do, you cannot say that this is 4 times the square root of 8. Okay, again, that will make some very important people very angry. All right, now, um, for the se second expression, so here, either one of these would be correct. For your second expression, uh, expression, we have some options in how we're going to approach this. Um, and so you have some choices. You have a lot of negative roots and you have some um, some fraction roots, or I'm sorry, exponents. So uh, I think what I would do is, instead of having this big fraction, let's get everything together on one line. What, that, what I mean by that is here I'm going to have 5a to the 5 halves power, and I'm going to bring this a into the numerator, and I can do that, remember, by making it a negative exponent. That's a to the negative cube power. All right, then I have a b to the fourth, and if I want to bring this b up to the top, that's going to be b to the negative negative two-thirds, which is the positive two-thirds power. And all that is to the negative two power that we'll deal with later. Let's clean this up first. Now remember, I can bring together these expressions by adding their exponents. So here I have five, uh, a to the five halves and a to the negative three. That's gonna be, let's do some scratch work here. Five halves plus a negative three. That's five halves plus a negative six halves, right? We gotta get a common denominator. So I get a to the negative one half there. The second group, I have four and two thirds. So you make your four, um, something over 3, what is that? 12 over 3 plus 2 over 3, I get b to the 14 thirds, and this is all to the negative 2 power. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the negative 2. I'm going to square everything and take the reciprocal of that. So I'm going to have 1 over all this stuff squared, so that's going to be 1 over 5 squared, which is 25 a to the negative one half squared. So anytime you raise it to a power, you have to multiply. So I have a to the negative two halves, and then b to the 28 thirds. Okay, and I just multiplied my exponents by two here. Um, now, two over two is just one, right? So that's a negative one there. So actually I have a, I can bring the negative exponent up and get a, a to the first power 25b to the 28 thirds power. Okay, and there's your solution. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know on this. Uh, these can be kind of confusing sometimes. Um, it, so you need to get in the practice of just taking it a step at a time. There's a tendency for calculus students to rush because you have a lot to do. Please don't rush through these because it'll make uh, you'll make some terrible mistakes if you do. All right, again, let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.